just this. Today we are going to discuss the poem Childhood written by Marcus Monti. Before I proceed, I would like to mention what the poem is all about. The poem is about the loss of childhood, the childhood days, which is wonderful and beautiful. This poem is an attempt to recall the stage when a person lost his childhood. Through this poem, the poet tries to identify the stage when his perception about the world and people changed. This poem shows the inability of the poet to, to demarcate the phases of life when his childhood crossed. Finally, the poem expresses the realization of the poet that innocence of childhood exists on this earth in some form or other. See the first stanza of this poem. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be alive? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? See in the first stanza, the poet mentions two stages. Number one is when he ceased to be alive. It means he entered the age of adolescence from the age of childhood. Age of childhood is full of simplicity. On the other hand, adolescence is full of complexity. So the poet thinks that when he enters the age phase of adolescence, his childhood was lost. Further he mentions that he lost his childhood when he realized that hell and heaven were not found in the book of geography for him then he feels that hell and heaven were imaginary things because they are not found in the book of geography so he enters the area of reality from imagination so in the first stage in the first stanza the poet mentions two stages number one when he ceases to be eleven, it means when he enters the phase of adolescence, means from simplicity to complexity, and the second phase of life, when he realizes that hell and heaven were not found in geography, means he enters the age of reality from the age of imagination. See in the second stanza, when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized? that adults were not all they seemed to be, they talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly was that the day. See, in the second stanza, the poet thinks that he lost his childhood when he realized that though adults talked and summarized love, they preached love, but in reality, they did not act so lovingly. Now, the poet is able to identify the hypocrisy and double face of the adults. See what is the transformation takes place in his life. First, he believes that adults are very good. They talk about love, they sermonize love. So his belief about the adult was innocent and pure. But in reality, he found that these adults are double faced, they don't act lovingly. So he faces the harsh reality of life. Now the poet thinks when he realizes the double faced and hypocrisy of the adults was the stage he lost his childhood. See the third stanza. When did my childhood go? Was it when I found my mind was very mine, to which to use whichever way I choose, producing thoughts that were not those of other people, but my own and mine alone was that the day. In the third stanza, the poet feels that his childhood lost when he felt his mind was his own. He can produce his own thoughts, not influenced by others. Now he recognizes individual differences and he is conscious about himself. 
he feels that he is free to think and imagine he says that this is the stage of life when we lost this childhood see the last stanza on this poem where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that is hidden in an infant's face that is all i know in the first three stanza the poet talks about the phases of life when he lost his childhood in the last stanza he talks about where his childhood went he thinks his childhood gone to some forgotten place he says that innocence exists till a person is in fine he tries to find his lost childhood in the innocent face of a child so he wants to say that innocence and purity does exist on this earth in some form or other so in the first three stanza of the poem the poet laments or mourns the loss of childhood but in the final and at the fourth stanza he is full of optimism he is full of positivities and he says that innocence does exist in some form or other this is all about this poem thank you